Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2 easy IQJ. So today's video we're going to have a look how I've got the new antenna set up. I wanted to just get it set up, uh, check the SWR, and I wanted to see what the interference was like, because on the old antenna I was getting a lot of interference in the evenings on 20 metres and upwards, anything below 10, it was absolutely fine. So I wanted to get it set up and check it. So let's have a look how I've got the antenna set up. Okay, this is how I've got the antenna set up. It's just on the original pole there. Not very half the ground, and when I went to plug the cable in, the connection came off, so I had to resolder that. Here's the bottom of the antenna. Now, the antenna itself, I tried to use Jubilee clips, but that didn't work, and I realised there was holes in the side. Like I said in, in a previous video, I never set a serial antenna up before. So I put two screws in the side that were given from Nick, so cheers for that, Nick. I put some tape around there, and all is good. But I do want to cover up the connections there, stop the water getting in, and it's the same for all the sections there, it goes up and up and up in the top there it's where you adjust the SWR. I wanted to get it set up because on the other antenna and I was listening on say 10 metres in the daytime it's fine, listen on 20 metres it's fine in the evening it's just noise like S7 and noise and 10 megahertz and below was absolutely fine so I just wanted to get it set up to see what the noise floor was like with the new antenna. Okay let's test the SWR so we've got the really expert connected we're going to do SWR meter and you'll see there at 27302 so near enough to the Kiowa Club we have ourselves an SWR nice of uh, 1.3 this got the band so 27612 we got 1.46 scrub again and 27991 or 992 we got ourselves an SWR of 1.7, so it screams up. Let's go to multi SWR. And at the top here we got 27305, 28450, 28500, 7100. Press OK. And 27305. We got ourselves 1.30, 28450, 1.97, 1.9, and 7.100. It's 5 and 14200 is around about 4.6, so a bit high for 14 and uh, 14 megs, 7 megs. I didn't expect it to work on there, but a friend of mine suggested tune it in for 27 uh, triple five. And once that's done, um, it should come down on 10 and with a tune, it should be used on 20 meters. That'd be interesting to try. So we'll at some point adjust it for 27 uh, triple five. Okay, we're currently sitting there on 10 meters, 28504. I think we've got someone on this frequency, let's have a listen. There was someone there, in the moment I'm getting... There you go. So we're getting... When he's not transmitting, we're getting like a very, very low noise floor. 24 megs, so set 12 meters. Lovely. 21 megs. Let's go around the band. Oh, look at that. S9 and noise. Where's that? I don't know where that's coming from. So 20 meters. This is the test. This is normally quite noisy in the daytime for me. S6, S5, S6. Well, I'm still hearing stations there. Now we go down to 10100, which is the toilet frequency, which is a ritty. That's no problems with that one. Oh, 40 meters. S6, S5, 6 noise floor. Are we are still hearing people though. Let's go around the band. There you go, some guy in Paris talking to a QRP station. Let's go down to, so you got five uh, decimal 505. This is the vomit station. Let's go up down the van. You see there, I'm getting a very high noise floor. Now normally this is okay, this is zero noise floor, it's normally the other way around. But yeah, let's go down to uh, 80 meters. Oh. Oh, 
I am getting a bit of a higher noise there, S6, S7, well, between S4 and S7 noise 4. So, uh, yeah, hopefully in the evenings it'll be the other way round where I won't get no noise floor on 40 metres and 80 metres and the vomit station and stuff like that. So we go to the serial antenna that I got given by my friend Robbie, so cheers for that Robbie. And I was able to set it up with the two screws inside, they weren't the correct screws but put the screws in, stop the old section sliding down and the cube's head to put some tape around it. I will get proper screws at some point for the antenna, I think they're in three bolts or something I think on this antenna. I did get the instructions sent to me by a friend of mine, M7YBB. So in a week I want to adjust it so it's more in line for 10 metres than it is 11. But at the moment, 27.305, it was nice and low and it has worked on 27.305 in the mornings because I've used it on the President uh, George Radio. If you found a video some use not to do, get a thumbs up, just tell us that YouTube people are doing a good job. If you've done like the video, you can press the other button, that seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7.3 is for now.